Not nearly enough breakables. Ah, it needs more breakables. Nope. Huh? What? What? Apparently we may not have enough antidote to save all of them. What? Uh, uh, Tar, I think, is bringing up issues of people in the fucking exile village because they had the weird fucking disease. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we, uh... Yeah, we grabbed whatever water was left of the fucking fountain thing in the shrine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's just freaking the fuck out because we might have to play God. <laughs> just a little bit. Slushy! Slushy! Yeah, I'm gonna go yeah, to it. Slushy. Might as well. Fuck him. Oh, now he decides to come up. Yeah, because you're the one that pressed the lever. Your uh, squad will then. The party will actually get on the thing. Wrath of the Bear! Yeah, you guys should already have that on, like, constantly. I am, I found another Man of Steel item! Yes? I found... Boots of plus one intelligence. That are better than what I'm wearing. Means you get these boots of plus one intelligence. Fucking Lothar up. just would not step on there. Yeah. Goodbye, Raptor. Oh, wait, you're here. Help me, young one. Oh my god, it's Gandalf. Uh, Barlin Gandalf. They're mad at characters who use your magic, bro. Wow. I mean... I mean, we usually are too, but... You have my thanks. You have my thanks. Those sorrowful creatures were prepared to tear me limb from limb. Almost run as lamb from lamb. It is good I happened to come across you in time. What was what your purpose here? It was my desire to help them. Most of this is totally not an old guy fucking voice acting. This guy, it's just fucking some guy acting like an old guy. Alas, they were uh, Sorry, you're they doing were, it about accurately. It was it was pretty much on par with us doing an old guy That's impression. Well, Alas, I mean, back in this point, they didn't have good voice actors. So, I mean, they did, but alas, they were too far gone and sought only my destruction. Then this must be the Dryad Exile Colony. No longer. No longer. It is now a graveyard, my young friend. I was told they were all uh, were ill, but I thought I had more time. They began to transform just as I they began to transform just as he arrived. It was a painful and ghoulish sight. Be glad it did not happen in front of you. Now, what brings you this perilous way? What brings you this perilous way? I was on my way home, lamb, and hoping to relieve these dryads of their suffering. That you have done. Oh god. That's a nice color, he talked much. Uh, they have done for... They will find eternal peace of the Shining Shores beyond... Capital B on Beyond, by the way. Uh, for we who remain in the world of flesh and fire, I cannot say the same. Speak of the plague? Plague? In a sense, although that is too kind of word. I speak of Valdus in green. I do not fear Valdus or his minions. 
History is filled with men willing to kill for land and gold. He is nothing special. Ah, uh, but Valdis uh, and Green is bent on something far more. What? 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 What was the question? Why are we killing for lamb and gold? Fame. Fame and gold. Did I say lamb? Oh. No, I thought you said land. Oh, land? I might have said land. I don't know. Typical big bad evil guy wanting shit. Uh, Valdis and Green is meant on something far more terrible than power of rule, young friend. Uh, all living things have reason to tremble at his intent. Do not understand, please tell me what you know. It goes back to, goes back to the story of Azanai and Zaramoth. Do you know it? I've heard tales of it all my life, but the full story now. We also heard a bit about it, I believe, in the first game. Hey, good see. An age ago, God damn it. Zaramoth conquered the Empire of Stars through powerful magic and an ancient soul. Only as you and I, the Defender, hailing from the Southern Plains, resisted his power. As you and I led his people against Zaramoth's forces on the Plain of Tears. Zaramoth brought his sword against Azunai's shield. When those weapons met, the very heavens were torn asunder. The clash brought about the end time, young friend. A world was laid to waste. So the voice actor you're hearing for the cutscene, by the way? Same one for the actual character model I was talking to. Nice. Do you understand, my young friend? An age ended because the sword and shield met in metal? This was not just any sword or any shield. Strange and wondrous creatures. I was fighting over there, by the way. I'm fun over there. You're just gonna... Okay. Strange and wondrous creatures forged those weapons of war. Yeah, they were imbued with... Muted. Oh. Uh, with... I needed, like, a little bit of XP to level. Uh. And now Tar just needs a little bit to level. I mean, we'll fucking get XP along the way, Liam. Uh, oh, they were imbued with it's godly just this power. Way I can do my leveling while you're talking. Power to change the course of history, but you should be paying attention, Lamb, so you know the history and lore of the game. <sighs> Lamb, I did Boy, mention that it was important. To some degree. I just got upgraded in strength. I see that. Uh, that was quite a story, old one, but how does Valdis enter into it? Weapon has been found once again. By the way, Lamb, did you know we need to destroy some towers? Oh, by the way, before the you leave, uh, there? you know, you, yeah, you know, the towers over there you still need to destroy? <laughs> But Lamb, let's not forget about those towers. Uh, anywho. Uh, this weapon has been, been found once again. It is now in the hands of a power-mad fiend. In green? No. Uh, bent oh. on fulfilling his own <laughs> insane plans. Voldus, in, in green, now bears the sword of Zaramoth in yellow. What? That'd be one of those times where it's literally, if this was Japanese, it'd be Nani. Nani? That was the first thing I fucking thought of, too. <laughs> yeah. Baldus in green. Blues that he is Zaramoth reborn. Zaramoth surprisingly not in a color, though. And he means to recreate the world according to his own uh, perverse design. It is his goal to end the Second Age and bring about another end time. Also, capital E on end time. Uh, but if the world is still here and we are alive, then the end time cannot mean the final end of all things, get it? The end time is both an end and a beginning. It brings about the death of one age, so that another age may be born. It cannot be compared to anything found in nature. It cannot be compared to anything found also, nature. Taff, that was... I want to say that was random, but it wasn't. It was random to me, looking at chat. Yeah, no, I... Ow. Uh, I... I... <laughs> that, that's referring to the Nani thing, because that that's always the joke, but... I just wasn't expecting to be, I'm like, I'm like, what am I reading? Oh, oh. Uh, forgive me, but that smacks more of rumor than reason, but even if what you say were so, could Valdis truly bring about the end time just by wielding an old sword? The sword, the sword of Zaramoth in yellow, forged by ancient beings in the first age, still contains the power to alter all existence, but what you say is true, for the power is sealed within it. Full of his dark design, Valdis and Green must hold the key to unlock it. That key is the shield of Azanai in yellow, which he seeks even now. But according to the legend, the shield was destroyed by Zaramoth's sword. Not true. The red shield yet exists, but was broken into fragments and scattered across the face of the world. These fragments are known today and have a name. 
Oh, you may have heard of it. Fetch quests. They were referred to as the Aegis and Yellow Artifacts. Aegis as in the Aegis of Life? That's a piece of Asunai's legendary shield, so that is what Baldus was seeking on the Dryad's Beach? I read that as a question when it was an explanation mark at the end. I, yeah. I should look ahead. Yes, and he took it from the yeah, so you took it from the Temple of the Coast in Orange, as, you, as well you know. You helped him attain it. That is a shameful truth, but how did you know that? I have eyes and ears in many places, my friend. It is what we scholars do, although I expect I have something of an edge. By the way, this is our narrator. If you didn't pick up on that. I was not paying attention. I did not pick up on that. Uh, yeah, he. Uh, th this guy is actually the one that was talking to us during the initial three videos, and then obviously that cutscene just then. Yeah. I think he's given a name later on, but right now he's just known as the Azunite Scholar. Uh, but in any case, you were there and took part. You must think me thoroughly wicked to have fought alongside Baldus as I did. I, I, would, I would think that indeed. In wow. Wrong button. Wow. That joke, Lamb. <laughs> I didn't even fight that boss. I didn't even know he existed. I fought... I fought all the bosses. Yeah, I fought all the bosses. I don't think I missed one. I didn't. I chose to praise the sun. I think other than that, I fought most of them. I think yeah. there's only two I really didn't. Yeah, I fought everything. Including the bullshit bosses. Which bullshit one? The double tigers? Yeah. Yeah, that, those tigers. that actually went better for me than I expected. I had to... I was so pissed with those double tigers. I was pissed was off so with the horses on the way. I actually didn't have too many problems with them. I didn't have problems with the tigers. I had problems with the fucking horses. The only time I had problems with the horses is when I would accidentally trigger two of them. For the most part, I knew where they spawned. So. Around you? It's not just around you. They spawn in some specific areas. Yeah, there was, like, specific points, but I mean, the fog and whatnot, if you're not paying attention where exactly you are, it's impossible to know. Yeah, no, and it's like, I usually knew almost exactly where I was, so it was never really a problem. I would think that indeed, if I don't know the truth, there is more to you than meets the casual eye, my young warrior. You have a role to play yet in the warp, 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 not rap. <laughs> the warp. <laughs> and the warp and weave of events. Sorry, come again? I, the the warp and then weave of events. It, yeah, okay, what? <laughs> What's the second word? Right. I, <clears throat> I, I don't know how it's spelled. It's warp. Warp. Oh. <laughs> My brain just wanted to read it as warp and rap. I don't know. Warp. I, cannot, I cannot imagine what that would be, but your story troubles me greatly, Scholar. I fear for our homeland as well as for this world. There are many who wish to defy. There are many who wish to defy the will of Aldous and Green, but his forces are everywhere. I shall keep you no longer. You were kind enough to help me, and so I will return the favor. The path off this island is easy enough. Simply continue beyond this point to reach the portal to the mainland. On this point to reach the portal to well, thanks, good oh, sir. Uh, May you fare well on your journeys. God damn it. It's this way, beyond the logs. He is Gandalf. However, you By the way, the so you remember that helm you threw me that you didn't know why you had nature magic on it? By the way, Lamb. The way is now clear. However, you have to pass through the Kithraw Caverns in orange to reach a portal in yellow. And that is easier said than done. If that is my road, I will take it. Spoken, Spoken in faith. That is good to hear. to hear. Safe travels to you, my young warrior. These items may help you on your way. Take them. I expect we will see each other again. Farewell and thank you. And, uh, yeah? What about it? Uh, it's because of the Stone Fist's, uh, prestige class. It is nature, magic, and melee. Oh, it has melee on it, too? I didn't even notice that. Yeah. I only saw it was the nature magic. And I saw the helm, and I'm like, why is this looking fucking like a goddamn melee item, but it has a nature requirement? Uh, by the way, Lamb? Lamb? What? There you go. I already got one. I have another. Uh, 
don't think they're going to be as good as what I'm wearing. The mana region would be nice, but the fucking helmet I'm wearing is a plus four int. And it's a set piece. And I can't put two helmets on what's your face. Then give it back. I don't care. I can feed it to Slushy. Except I'm not going to. Do you want a hammer that gives you plus one int and 10% melee critical hit damage? You can give that to Slushy. What was this about him? Do you want a hammer that does uh, plus one int and plus 10% melee critical hit damage? It is a one-handed hammer, I believe. If it's a two-handed weapon, it'll explicitly say two-handed, otherwise it will just be one-handed and won't mention it. Yeah, it was the uh, it was the same as the hammer you just threw me. With slightly different things. Uh, I'll, I'll pass, actually. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the one Lothar has right now is 8% healing effectiveness and 3% health steal. And the weapons, uh, Orzo is using is, uh, much better. Yes, feed, Slushy. You must feed. Feed and grow. <laughs> 